Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. We're gonna start off by walking Tiger for a little bit. Yeah, and then after we walk Tiger, we're gonna go to Ikea. I need to get a few things, and I thought today would be a perfect day to vlog, so that's what we're gonna end up doing. So let's go start off by walking Tiger first. <laughs> We've gone to that part of the walk where Tiger just kind of wants to roll around in the grass, which is fine. It's kind of cute. He really just loves being outdoors. I did find him outside when I was younger, so he's always just been good being outside. I mean, he preferred to be out on the patio all day than be inside. He just loves being out here. <laughs> he's so cute. Got him if he goes for it, babe. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bubba. Mom and Dad found a spot to sit at while Bubba continues to explore over there. <laughs> Which is nice. So, it's really a beautiful day, honestly. It's a little windy, you can probably tell, but it's really a beautiful day. It's a nice day. Yeah. Aww, he's so cute. <laughs> so, before we head out, I thought that Michael and I could have a quick little snack. So, I'm making some egg bagels. Um, the eggs I normally get are these, the happy eggs. It just makes me feel a little bit better about purchasing eggs, which we don't do that often. Just maybe like... I don't even have a number on it. We really don't do it that often, but I was in an egg mood, so we got some eggs. We got some vegan butter on the pan, just kind of waiting for that to cook up a little bit more. And Dave's Killer Bread, which if you guys don't get this bread, I really recommend it. It's really good. We get their bagels, their sliced bread. Um, we get a lot of their stuff, so like that. So once I get these eggs cooking, I'm going to heat up these bagels. And then I'll probably put salsa on mine because that's what I like. And Michael will probably put cheese. So see you when it's all cooked up. And there we go. We got Michael's cheesy egg sandwich, bagel sandwich. And I got mine but with salsa instead of cheese. So we're going to dig in and then hopefully head out to Ikea. Hi, guys. So right now, Michael and I are on the way to Ikea. It's actually not that far away, which is really nice. I like how close it is. And I'm super excited because I've been wanting to get stuff there for a while now, but it's been out of stock for me for a bit. So now it's in stock and I can go and get them, which I took pictures of everything that I want before I, I went because I think that's a bit easier than like getting lost and kind of like wandering around for hours. So I like to take pictures before I go. Um, probably grab a bite to eat there because they have really good food, some vegetarian options, and maybe some food to take home as well. So yeah, super excited. We'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, so we made it to Ikea. That was a pretty quick drive. Yeah, it was. But yeah, it's super busy, so we'll probably go and just start looking around for the stuff that we need to get, so yeah. All done? All done. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Michael and I just checked out and we put everything in the car. We're going back in so that we can have a quick little lunch because I love the food court here. It's so good. And then when we leave, we're also going to get some food to go so we can have some stuff at home from Ikea. So let's go to the food court because I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> So 
Michael and I both got the same thing. We got these veggie balls. Yeah. Yeah, and they come with veggies and then rice pilaf that has some more veggies in it. And it has this red sauce on it, which I'm excited to try, but yeah, I'm hungry, so we're gonna dig in. <laughs> okay, so right now Michael and I are going to the food cafe so that we can get some food that we can have at home. So we're heading there right now. <laughs> Right now we are heading home from Ikea. We got everything we needed except for three things. They are out of stock, so I'm just gonna have to keep my eye out. Um, it looks like they will be back in stock next week, so I can just order them for a pickup, and hopefully we can get those if they do come back in stock, so. But right now we are heading to Dunkin' to get a drink on our way home, and then when we get home, I plan on showing you guys what we got. So we got everything we needed plus some random stuff, so. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do a little, um, Ikea haul when we get home, but Duncan first. <laughs> All right, so we just got Duncan. So what I normally get is a blueberry iced matcha with almond milk. Uh, I just get a basic caramel latte. <laughs> but now we're, we're gonna drink up and make our way all the way home now. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Hi, so we're home now and I thought I could go over everything that we went because we didn't really record that much inside Ikea. But we got a lot of cute things, so I thought I'd show you guys. So, I'll start with the first thing. Alright, so the first thing is actually a, a pear. So, I saw this fake plant that I've been kind of wanting to get online for a while now, and they actually had some in stock. So, I got this and paired it with this white pot, which fits inside pretty well. There were some smaller ones, didn't fit right. There were some bigger ones, didn't fit right. But this pot was like the best fitting one, so. Yeah, I ended up getting this and I have a spot already for it in my mind, so um, I'll go put it there now. <laughs> okay, so the other fake plant that I got is like this mini Monstera plant. Um, I have a pot that has been kind of empty for a while and I've been needing to put something in it. But it's in our spare bedroom, so it doesn't really get a lot of sunlight, unlike the living room and kitchen area. So I wanted to get something fake for that pot because... I don't know how well it will thrive in there, so I can show you guys the pot that I got for it because I think it'll look so cute together. <laughs> Alright, so this is the pot that I've had for a while now. I've just been looking for the right plant. Oh, well, it's not bad. It's kind of cute. Um, I actually found this pot at Walmart of all places, which I couldn't believe it. Um, Walmart actually has some good pots, and I didn't know that until I actually went there myself. I typically just go for white pots and maybe some with some tan colors in it, but yeah, I've gotten this one and another cute one from Walmart before, so don't like doubt Walmart. Sometimes they have some good stuff, so I'm gonna go put this back. Okay, so we have one more decor piece, and then we'll move on to the food items that we got from the cafe, and this one's gonna be kind of big, so <laughs> let me go get it. <laughs> so I've been trying to get this item for months now because it seems like it's a really hot sell and every time I look it's always out of stock so I can't even order online but suddenly this was in stock and I was able to go in the store today and pick it up so I've been wanting this for a while I've been wanting a, a gold round mirror to go in the, uh, in the foyer above our table that we have yeah it's a table um, so this is what it looks like it's pretty big but you guys will probably see yourselves but yeah it's a 32 inch it doesn't say here Side, but nope, nothing. But I'm pretty sure it's a 32 or 31 inch round gold mirror. So I just wanted something that was super simple because there's a lot going on at the table. We have that artificial fig leaf tree plant. We have some uh, like wheat grass and candles and like all sorts of stuff already going on. So I wanted something simple to just kind of tie in with everything. And I always like having a mirror when you come in to the apartment. So. I've always wanted this, but it's always been out of stock, but I finally have it. I actually wanted to get another mirror from Ikea today, but that was low in stock, so I was crossing my fingers hoping they had it, but when I got to the actual place where they were selling it, like in the aisle, and they were all gone. Um, I did ask someone, they said they had one left, but they didn't know where that one was, so I'm just gonna have to wait till next week, because it's gonna be in stock again. I think they said they're, they're gonna have 14 of those mirrors, but, um, yeah, I already have a spot for it in mind, I just need to get it, but mirrors at Ikea are kind of hard to get, especially like the cute ones, so I finally have this big round gold mirror, I've been wanting it forever, and I officially have it, so I don't know when we'll hang it up, 
that might be in a YouTube video in the future. Maybe we'll just hang it up behind the scenes. But yeah, I am so excited I finally have this. But that's it for decor. Um, I'll move on to food items next. Okay, um, so this is the food we've gotten. This is everything that's not frozen. I'll show you guys the frozen stuff later after all this. Um, but Michael and I are obsessed with these uh, gelatin-free, so they're vegan, these gelatin-free little gummies. They have a few different flavors there. I like the pear, what is this? This is pear, apple, and gooseberry. I really like this one, so I got two. This one's my favorite. Michael likes these cola flavored ones, so we have two for him. And then we said that we would split between this it's lemon, rhubarb, and lime flavor. And then raspberry, cranberry, and then forest fruit flavor. I don't know what that is, but we thought we'd give these two a go because we haven't had them, but these are the ones we always, always get. So <laughs> we got some of these candies, which they're super nice. Um, we just have like a bag throughout the week, so that'll last us a while. Um, and since it's getting colder out, I wanted to get these ginger fruit. <laughs> ginger thin cookies with almonds, which I don't normally get the cookies from there, so I haven't tried this one before, but um, it's kind of getting to that time of year and I wanted something gingery, so I'm excited to try these out. I'll let you guys know if I like it or not later, but yeah, I'm super excited to try that. Um, Michael and I always get like a bar of dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. You, <laughs> For some reason, I really don't like milk chocolate. Um, it might be because like I don't do dairy, um, but I've never been a fan of milk chocolate before, but yeah, they always have a few different chocolate options, but this is the one that I like the most, so I always get this, and then I know this isn't food related, but I thought it, it goes in the kitchen, I'll count it, <laughs> it's not really decor, but we really like the cutting boards from there, we have two right now, and we wanted to get rid of one of them, because we've had it for a while, and it, you can tell we've had it for a while, it's starting to warp and have not such a good color to it, so I got one to replace that. Um, their, their cutting boards are actually really nice, and they're super cheap, so if, you know, one of yours gets really bad quickly, you can just replace it. So, um, I'll show you guys the frozen stuff that we get, which we usually typically um, take a long time to get through it, but it's always nice to have it in the freezer, so if we want to add something to our meals, we can always add that, which I'll show you guys what I got. So, I put this away. <laughs> So this is everything that we get from the frozen section of the cafe at Ikea. Uh, if you've ever been to Ikea before, you might know their famous Swedish meatballs that they sell at the food court. Um, we don't get those. We normally get the plant balls. <laughs> They're the vegetarian option. Um, and so we grabbed a bag of those uh, veggie balls that they sell at the food court, which I love these. I have at least three to four bags always in the freezer. <laughs> like I make these all the time. They're super quick to just pop in the oven and have like a, a protein portion of your meal. Um, so I like having these. And then I also grabbed some veggie dogs because um, they're just a super quick like dinner option. Um, so I always get some of these. They come with 10, so last us a while. <laughs> and then we got something to re replace what we normally get because they are all out of stock of what we normally get. Um, so normally we get these like little mini cinnamon buns, which are super easy to pop in the oven and have a quick little sweet breakfast in the morning, but they were all out of those, so we're trying something else that they had that was kind of similar, which are these cinnamon buns, which I took a quick look at these and I was like, are those pretzels? But they're not. We asked someone and it turns out that the white speckles on top are just, um, they're not salt, they're actually sugar, supposedly. I haven't tried them yet, so um, I'm excited to try these. I've never made them before, but um, this what we got to replace the mini cinnamon buns with, so. That's everything we got at Ikea, I think. So now that the Ikea haul is done, I'm going to go grab Michael so we can both say goodbye. Okay guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, we had so much fun bringing you guys along with us to walk Tiger today and going to Ikea and having you guys involved in all that. So. Um, thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you liked today's video, make sure to leave a like, and if you leave a comment, we'll make sure to reply to all the comments, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you guys can see all the upcoming videos as well. So, if you guys saw anything today that you guys liked in the video, I'll try to leave links for those in the description below. Um, I would say out of everything, the gold round mirror is definitely the hardest one to get. Um, it might just be a Colorado thing, I'm, I'm not sure, but 
I waited months for that and I finally had a good time to go to Ikea and actually pick it up. So, um, but hopefully it's available in your area, wherever you live. But yeah, that'll all be in the description. So I think that is going to be us for today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye.